Hello everybody, hello everybody, welcome to Blue Eddy live stream. Welcome, welcome guys, yet another live stream from Blue Eddy. Let's reload our pages and see who, who is here. Today we are live on Facebook and on YouTube at the same time guys. Today is Thursday, Thursday evening, that means what? That means we are live on our social media on Facebook and on YouTube. So welcome welcome to the live stream we have seven likes already that's very much appreciated thank you so much guys for your likes okay we have silver still here was the first one here hello everyone hello silver still hello as one two nine three from the west from west tennessee hello hello okay all right guys now this is uh, youtube we also have facebook hello jeff from waveform science okay let me see who is here with us on facebook who is here on facebook with us Okay, I have Facebook right here. Let me reload the page. And yeah, guys, so today we have again a two hour live stream. The agenda for today is the following. We're gonna be talking about EB70S, portable power station. And of course, our newest AC60 and its add-on battery B80. And we'll also talk about uh, portable solar panels, PV120 and PV200. So guys, right now you can check out the description on YouTube or on Facebook and see what we're having here. AC60, uh, B80, right? AC60 and PV120, AC60 and PV200, AC60 and B80, <clears throat> uh, AC60, B80 and PV120, AC60, B80 and PV200, EB70S, this one right here, PV200 portable solar panel and EB70S plus PV200. So this is the agenda for a day. You can find it in the description on Facebook and on YouTube. And you will always you will also see the discount codes. So for over newer A60 and B80, we have $20 off discount. This is already in addition to the discounted price, the early bird price. The early bird price, right? Uh, so remember to enter the code live Bluetti, right? And click the link. And here's how you purchase during live stream. And you can save twenty dollars in addition to already discounted price. Hello, Charlo Diva too. Hello, William Randall. Hello, Shower Farm Maid. Hello, Smolder Outdoors. Okay, guys. Okay, very good. See here now about our Facebook uh, live stream. So the connecting. Uh, let me see. Okay. Oh, this is the advertising. I can see now. Um, let me connect to the live stream itself. All right. Awesome, guys. So let's kick things off with uh, EB70S. EB70S is right here in front of us. So this is an older model. And finally, we have the new color, uh, gray. Well, new in the studio because, in fact, on the website, we've only had gray for a while. So I requested the new unit for us so that we can um, you know, show the accurate colors because before we showed the blue one and everybody was like, I like blue, I like blue, right? Blue is my color and how can I get blue? And they would find out that there is no blue color on the website and so right now we're showing the gray color. Now, personally, I like gray, you know, all of my stuff are gray and black. So I like this color more. Uh, it would fit my interior, the, the color, you know, the colors. <clears throat> but um, anyway, guys, it's still the same unit, EPIF-70S, the same unit that you guys saw before, but before it was blue and now it's gray. Okay, so um, this, is a, this is a portable power station, even though, to be honest, I think you wouldn't enjoy carrying around at hand, right? But I can't imagine a situation when you're just carrying around at hand for a long time. You know, you take it with you when you go camping, you put it in your car, right? So you, it's almost never at your, in your hand, so you never feel the weight. Even though it's not that light, it's not that heavy weight to begin with, but still. So EB70S, just to give you guys a perspective of how big it is, uh, 12.6 inches by 8.5 inches and by 8.7 inches and 21.4 pounds, 21.4 pounds. So not necessarily the most lightweight, it's like a, like a dumbbell in a gym, like a 10 kg dumbbell, uh, 21 pound, 21.4 pound. But still, you know, uh, portable and totally, totally portable, totally mobile. So um, the battery capacity of uh, EB70S, as you can actually guess from the name, you know, is uh, 716 watt hours. 
uh, we can find this. Oh, actually, on this unit, we don't have it written here. It's rather an exception because normally we have it written on the unit. So it's 700. Maybe we have it written on the unit? No. 716 watt hours. Anyway, 716 watt hours. So it's quite a powerful, uh, quite a, quite a, quite a high capacity, right? 716 watt hours of battery capacity. Uh, in amp hours, that would be 21 amp hours, and the voltage of the battery is 34.1 volts. Okay. Now, of course, uh, I don't think we have anyone new here today. Okay. Uh, UK plugs. Oh no, there is no UK plugs here. Uh, on the dash of ah yeah this is AC60 uh, sorry AC180 AC180 this is the EU version so yeah this is like European plugs very well noted Jeff yeah we don't have AC180 for the US yet so um, this is the uh, European AC180 everybody <laughs> okay good evening Perry uh, good evening Joe okay no solar panels tonight uh, yeah we do have solar panels tonight oh no solar panels giveaways though but we do have solar panels PV120 and PV200 <laughs> okay so uh, back to EB70S everybody <clears throat> Uh, 716 watt hours of lithium iron phosphor battery. That's actually quite a high battery capacity, isn't it? So uh, let's also take a look at the outputs that we have here on the EV70S. So as always, on the very top, we have the wireless charging pad, right? Because we like those wireless charging pads and we want them, you know, so we put them here. 15 watt wireless charging pad on the very, very top. Now here we have, um, Two USB-A ports, right? Those are standard 5 volts, 3 amps. Standard, not quick, but you know, still 5 volts, 3 amps. And two USB-C ports, 100 watts each. Now that is what is actually quite interesting. You know, many people need USB-C ports, so we have two USB-C ports, 100 watts each. So this is a fast charge. Uh, and we have two DC 5521 bell connectors right here. Here we have a 12 volt and 10 amp cigarette lighter port. Okay, to run in the mini fridge if you want to keep your drinks cool and stuff like that. Uh, four wall outlets. Four wall outlets with 100 to 120 volts and 800 watts. And the surge power here is 1400 watts. Also, it's it's actually I think it's uh, worth remembering because. Normally, the surge power for Blueyeti is double of the maximum AC load. So, if it's um, 800, you would probably think it would be 1600, but no, it is uh, 1400. So, 1400 watts of surge power. Okay. Simply because it's there is no rule that the surge power has to be double, right? It's just a coincidence, rather. So, in this case, it's 800 watts. It's a very powerful AC inverter. 800 watts. For reference, even on the newest AC60, the AC inverter is only 600 watts, and here's 800 watts, which might make a which might make a difference. However, because EB70S uh, is an earlier model, we don't have this power lifting mode. Okay, so we cannot so to say force it to run a higher load at its uh, peak power capabilities for 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 a long time. So uh, we don't have this mode here at all. So 800 watts is your limit here. It's a very high number, so uh, you will run most of your household portable devices. However, certain devices you will not be able to run. So uh, you have to check before you plug it in or, you know, sometimes uh, you, you only can check when you actually plug it in already and running it. So you can monitor what the load is on the screen and if it's over 800 watts, you better unplug it and don't use it because the limitation here is 800 watts. And it's a sine wave inverter. As always for Blady, it's a pure sine wave inverter. Here we have a light, a very bright light. Okay, it has three modes, including SOS mode. On the very top, we have this carrying handle, and I know how you, how you guys like the design. If you can just put this handle back, and you have this absolute flash flat surface you can put your laptop on it you know you can use it as a desk and just don't waste any space here uh, we have this nice uh, carrying uh, affordable affordable handle on the top now here we have as always fans right to keep our unit cool push and pull fan on the back side as you guys can see we don't have anything rather some import other than some important information and here we have another 
fan, right? Oops, something dropped on the floor. Okay, now on the very bottom, we have two anti-slip pads right here, okay, and the QR code with a serial number. Okay, so this is what EB70S looks like. So these are the outputs, right, to run our AC and DC devices, to run, to charge our phones, laptops, speakers, to run some maybe, um, you know, mini blenders um, and fans and things like that from here. And here is the screen. So one more time, what does the screen show us? The screen shows us the battery life, okay? Uh, shows us the input and the output. W stands for watts, so how many watts coming in, how many watts are coming out. Here we have a frequency, 60 hertz, standard frequency in America. And here we have eco mode. Eco mode shuts down the AC inverter after four hours when there is no load or a very low load. Now here is the input, is the input um, of EB70S. Yes. So this is the input and MPT, we have one input for both AC and DC. So um, for both wall charting and for solar charting and car charting. So it says 12 to 28 volts and 200 watts maximum, right? So let me, uh, let me show you guys how we can charge our EB70S. In the box, okay, when we purchase EB70S, we have this um, accessories, these accessories in the box. So what do we have here? Let's take a look. Number one, we have T200 adapter that will allow you to charge it at a speed of 200 watts maximum from a wall outlet or from a generator during power outages, right? or in other situations that you might want to use generator for. So uh, this is what the adapter looks like. Okay, the adapter itself, the DC7909 cable, and we also have this and the cable. Now, uh, we wanna plug it in here, okay? And we want to plug it in in a, in a wall outlet, okay? And this side, of course, goes here. Okay, that's how we charge from a wall outlet. So you guys can see we have only one input here, so we cannot combine AC and DC charging. So uh, we can either charge from a wall outlet or we can charge from solar panels. So for that, we also have this cable, DC7909 to MC4 connectors. So all we need to do is simply plug it in here and connect this part to the same MC4 connectors on our solar panels. On Vladi solar panels, in this case, we, we're talking about either one PV68, one PV120, one PV200, or any other panel, SP120, SP200, right? As long as the open circuit voltage of the panel is within 12 to 28 volts, not higher than 28 volts. Now, when we on the go and we want to recharge from our vehicle, we will be using this car charging cable. Again, it's the same plug. This is 7909 to car power socket. Okay, and we plug it in. And again, because it's 12 to 28 volts, we can charge from both 12 volt and amp and 24 volt and amp car power socket. So you have quite a few um, ways to recharge your EB70S, right? And what's more, all the cables are included in the box. Solar charging cable, car charging cable, and an adapter, an adapter, T200 adapter. And in the box, you also have a user manual and a warranty card. And for now, we have a warranty for two years for a power station and for one year for all the cables and accessories. Okay, so when you're charging your um, EB70S, again, you're limited here by 200 watts maximum, okay? And the voltage, again, is 12 to 28 volts. And the amperage is eight amps. So, speaking about solar charging, when it comes to solar charging and you wanna choose portable solar panels, okay, and you want to go for Blue Eddy, you can choose either PV68, PV120, or PV200. You can only connect one panel. You cannot connect two panels in series because we, when you connect them in series, the voltages add up and they will exceed 28 volts, which is the maximum here. So PV68 with the open circuit voltage of 26 
or 24.6, excuse me, uh, 320 with the open circuit voltage of 24.4 volts and 300 with the open circuit voltage of 26.1 volts are all compatible. They're all within 12 to 28 volts. So obviously with PV68, where the maximum input is only 68 watts and the realistic input, right, is something around 61, 62 watts, it will take you 12.2 hours to recharge it to 100%. And realistically, we don't have that many sunny hours a day, right? Um, so I recommend you guys go for some something like PV200 with the maximum input of 200 watts and don't worry, well, you don't have, you will not get 200 watts, so you don't have to worry about, you know, um, wasting the potential because you think it always 200 watts maximum and PV200. Well, 200 watts is the ideal, it's like the, the maximum <clears throat> input, right, you can get from this panel. So realistically, it will get around 180 watts and it will take you four and a half hours to recharge from PV200 four and a half hours to recharge to 100% and only 3.2 hours to recharge to 80%, okay? So get something like PV200 portable solar panel for your EB70S. Now, when you're charging from your car, right? Again, you can use both 12 volt and 10 amp cover socket or 24 volt and 10 amp cover socket. Uh, so from a 12 volt 10 amp cover socket with the input around 80 watts, it would take you nine and a half hours to complete the recharge and 7.2 hours to recharge it to 80%. Now with 24 volt and 10 amp carburetor socket, it would take, and the input around 160 watts, would take you five hours to recharge to 100% and 3.6 hours to recharge to 80%. Now I'm speaking about AC charging. Again, you will be using this adapter, which is included in the box. And this adapter says uh, 25.2 volts and eight amps. So if we multiply, we'll get 201.6 watts. So we run it up to 200 watts. So indeed the maximum input you will get is around 200 watts. And um, it will take you 4.1 hours to recharge EB70S to 100% from that T200 adapter and 2.9 hours to recharge it to 80%, okay? Now, if you're wondering how long can we run or charge various devices from EB70S, here is some common lows runtime. And by the way, we're not just taking the battery capacity and divided by the load. We actually calculated uh, a little bit more precisely. I also included the, such things as inverters efficiency, depth of discharge, and so which will, will uh, which will show us the actual capacity, right? And also the idle the idle load of AC and DC. So you guys know I always uh, take the same, you know, the same things. I compare them, same gadgets, same same, same load. So you're probably bored of it, but we can charge our phone 43.5 times. We can charge um, our Mac. Well, even when when I'm saying this, it sounds it sounds like like a lot of times to me, right? It sounds like wow, really for that long? But I I forget too that. EB70S, despite of being that small, it has the battery capacity of 716 watt hours. That is actually quite an, quite a large battery capacity. We can charge our uh, laptop, let's take MacBook Air as an example, the one I'm using. I can charge it nine and a half times. Now that is more enough. That would that would suffice for a week easily, right? I can charge my MacBook once at most twice a day. So. Nine and a half times, that's like for a week. Um, let alone for the phone, well, which are sure my phone once to twice a day, oh, once, to, well, I would say probably twice a day, right? Twice a day. Um, and 43 and a half times, that's a, long, that's a lot of times. However, guys, you can object and say that, well, we will be charging a phone and a laptop at the same time, right? So yeah, of course, in this case, the, uh, num the number of times we can charge each gadget decreases. However, it's still many times. Now, uh, if we are 
photographers and we want to shoot something with a drone okay it's we can charge our drone 24.9 times again depends on the drone for example the drone that we have right here it's, it has like a huge battery capacity like 68 watt hours or something but i'm talking about a mini drone with a battery capacity of 17.28 watt hours so a camera a 16 watt hour camera you can charge 33.9 times from EB70S. So for photographers over there, many of my friends are photographers and I know how important it is to, they know how important it is, I don't know how important it is, but uh, they know how important it is to, you know, have your camera charged. Sometimes you go out and it will take more than expected to film or shoot something and you want to have portable power with you, okay? Really brings a lot of uh, comfort uh, if we can call it comfort, at least peace of mind in the lives of people like um, like photographers, for example, who uh, rely on you know the cameras and they need to re recharge their gear, and especially if it's uh, too hot or too cold outside, right? You want to have something that will back you up, um, and just in case you know that your camera will discharge quicker than you planned, you can just take a one-hour break and recharge all of your gadgets from uh, EB70S even when you're off the grid, which photographers uh, often are, right? Now, if you're running an 80 watt power tool, let's say, you can run for 6.5 hours. Again, also very handy. Let's say you want to fix some, something in a place distant and there is no wall outlets there, even those long cables will not work. It is very far. You want to fix like, I don't know, um, <laughs> an abandoned house or whatever. <laughs> oh, no, just a ridiculous example. But you know, you want to fix something and it, it's really not, comfort, um, not, not convenient to, to bring those like, you know, adapters and long cables. So you just can use something like EB70S and run your electric tool from there. And an 80 watt electric tool, power tool, you, you can run for six and a half hours. Or alternatively, let's say that you taking a fridge with you, right, a mini, uh, like a mini fridge, and um, it's pulling out around 90 watts. So how long you can run it? I would say, I would say a couple of hours, right? But it's actually 5.8 hours. Guys, again, from a personal anecdote, um, you know, I remember when I went to the beach with my family and we would take, you know, some watermelons with us and some fruit. We would really, you know, we would really like uh, find some exotic ways to, to keep them cool, like, you know, like digging, a, like, like digging a hole in the ground. I mean, it was in the beach, so it's easier in the sand and putting them there, right? So, but it's, <laughs> those are some medieval methods. So why do that when you have portable fridges, right? So, uh, and you can run a fridge for 5.8 hours, a 90 watt fridge. So you can put your fruit there and uh, your beverages or whatever you guys want to keep it cool, right? Um, okay, next, TV, all right? It was just, um, I mean, uh, it was a big thing recently, uh, 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 the, the World Cup, the football, the soccer uh, World Cup, right? And many people watch it outdoors, and some of them also relied on our power stations. So you can run your 75 watt TV for almost seven hours. That's enough to watch the whole match. Uh, the whole game. Uh, a slow cooker, if you want to cook outdoors, if you want to cook outdoors, you can run a 200 watt slow cooker for 2.7 hours. Um, a 250 watt ice maker, you can run it for 2.2 hours. Now, I honestly don't know. I mean, we do. We actually have an ice maker right there, but I still, I'm still not used to that. Uh, how I freeze ice is just like I pour water in those shape, um, in those shapes. You know, like you can buy like um, some uh, ice uh, shape, ice cubes, whatever, and you pour water there and you put it in the freezer. And in the morning you have ice. But apparently, you also can make ice in an ice maker, and you can run a 250 watt ice maker for 2.2 hours for EB, from EB70S. If you're running a mini blender, a uh, 600 watt mini blender, okay, you can run it for one hour. And you guys know that we only need like a couple of minutes to make a smoothie or whatever in a blender. Mini fridge of 60 watts, you can run it for nine hours, right? 
uh, oh yeah, I said minute footage of 90 watts to ground for six point uh, for, for six hours and minute footage of 60 watts to ground for nine hours. Interesting. And finally, a light bulb, bulb of 15 watts. You can run it for 34.3 uh, hours. So this is how long you can run or charge various devices. Okay. So even Synthesis does not have an app control, guys. It doesn't have a very advanced screen. Again, all it shows us is the input, the output, the battery capacity, uh, the eco mode, and also if we have any alerts like overload, overheat, temperature, or short trigger, which shows the it on the on the screen. So uh, don't have you know uh, too high requirements to that because it's it's an older unit, so, uh, it's an earlier unit, so to say. So it does it's not very advanced. But um, but yeah, it's, it's still a good unit and with a, with a very large battery, with a large, sorry, battery capacity, 716 watt hours. So let's see what price do we have for EB70S right now. Check in the description. Okay, so EB70S and PV200, which I recommend. Uh, PV200 is a 200 watt portable solar panel right here. Okay, so uh, for EV70S and PV200, the price is, I don't have the price here, but I have a discount code, a life, uh, it's, it's EB70S PV200, EB70S PV200, and apparently you can save $170 off if you purchase EB70S and PV200 during the live stream, only during the live stream, so if you're not watching this video live, it will not work for you, uh, only during the live stream, if you purchase EB70S and PV200, and importantly, you enter the code, that you can just copy from the description, okay? So, you can save $170, okay? And for EB70S alone, you can save $100 if you enter the code uh, Life EB70S. So let me actually try this code on my laptop right now. So um, here I am, EB70S plus PV200. It's $998, okay, the original price. And we only have that many people in the live room. So most people who are on the website, they're purchasing right now, not knowing about our live stream. And they're paying the full price, $998, but you guys can pay $898, $898, okay, so this is $100 off, not $170 off, excuse me, but still $100 off for a bundle. If you don't have uh, PV200 yet, I highly recommend you actually go ahead and purchase PV200 because we all need a portable solar panel. And uh, PV200 has, um, the maximum input of, of, of 200 watts, right, as the name implies. So I don't see the reason why not to get PV200 as a portable panel, especially, um, you know, if you, it depends on your lifestyle right? lifestyle, right? So if you go camping a lot and doing things like that, doing things outdoors, and you need portable solar panels, not just rigid uh, solar panels on your rooftop, you might as well get something uh, like PV200. Okay, all right guys, uh, just a quick note that this timer right here, maybe some of you were confused. This timer is for a giveaway. So uh, in, two, in two minutes we have our first giveaway and the giveaways for a day guys, you can see them right here. We're giving a cap, we're giving away our other merch, a phone tripod too, and the prices and discount codes you guys always can see right here. So you can just purchase whenever you guys want. Okay. All right, awesome. Okay, so uh, the first giveaway is going to be Bloody Cap. And who who has Bloody Cap already? Does some, any of you have Bloody Cap? It's okay, you can still participate, by the way. You can participate as many times as you want. And we do have people who won like 15 times over the course of their, um, you know, time here in the in the live streams and participating in giveaways. Something ridiculous, like 17 wins, 17 giveaways. Uh, let me check for Diego, for example, by the way, because I have EB3A here. Where is it? Oh, it's right, right there. So let me turn it on. And let me connect. 
yeah, here we're talking about updates, right? Firmware updates. So yeah, uh, for the for the power station that we have app control for, we have updates. So let me connect EP3A. And let's check the update firmware upgrade. So uh, my current version of DSP is V2056.13, minus 13, yours is 10. Uh, so you, if you have the update option, you know, uh, to find that out, just opens, maybe, maybe something doesn't work, maybe something doesn't work there, I understand, so I don't want to frustrate you, but normally it would work like you open the settings, and on the very, very bottom, we have firmware upgrade right here. Let me show you real quick. Uh, so here, you know, you connect to your EB3A settings, firmware upgrade, and here you would have DSP upgrade. My version is 2056.13, okay? Yours is 10. So you might want to try. Are we talking about EB3A though? Yeah, yeah, for the EB3A. Okay, great. All right, awesome. Okay, guys. So, um, 10 seconds, okay, it's a giveaway time. Okay, so first we'll do the giveaway on YouTube and then we'll do the giveaway on Facebook. Are we, are we ready? Are you guys ready? Yeah, my, my version is same as yours, Joe. So yeah, it's 13 too. All right, guys, just a quick reminder, take part in the giveaway. All you wanna be doing is typing Blue Eddy, but get creative because YouTube restricts users from typing the same word regarding it as, as spam. So don't, don't type the same word, you know, get creative like Blue Eddy, giveaway, other things, but related. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's go. 29 people, uh, 10 second countdown, and keep typing Blue Eddy. Three, two, one, let's go. And I'll do a 10 second countdown, and in 10 seconds, I'll take a screenshot like this. It, this is a test, and whoever's comment is at the bottom wins. Let's go. Uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, let's go. Okay, I wasn't even looking. Who is the winner? The winner is William Randall. William Randall. Congratulations, William Randall. And now we're going on Facebook because we have a giveaway there too. So let me open Blue Eti Global on Facebook. We have two main groups, Blue Eti Global and Blue Eti Europe. So. Uh, let me join Blue Atti Global. Okay, finally found my live stream here. 11 people there. Oh, okay. No competition. 11 people. Chances to win is 1 to 11. So, not that low, actually. Let's go, guys. Facebook, keep typing Blue Atti in the comments. Keep typing Blue Atti. Yeah, correct, Blake. So, let's go. 10 second countdown. <laughs> 10. Oh, Al uh, look, look at her who joined. Perry Albert joined. Okay, uh, sorry, you're getting distracted. Uh, 10, 9, uh, uh, what is it after 9? If you count backwards, 8, right, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, let's go. Okay, guys, all right. And the winner is uh, LaRonda Parks. Congratulations. Congratulations, LaRonda Parks. Or maybe the winner is Blue Eddy Global because Blue Eddy Global's comment was on the bottom, right? Technically. So is the winner Blue Eddy Global or LaRonda Parks? Lorana Parks, okay, good. Thank you for helping me decide because that was really um, a top decision. Okay, congratulations, Lorana Parks and William Randall. Uh, dear giveaway winners, please email us at livestream at blueaddy.com. Send us your shipping address and your phone number uh, via email. Okay, guys, I'll, I'll drink that. This is coffee, of course. I'm just actually looking for an excuse to drink coffee. Um, okay, now, um, congratulations, dear giveaway winners. 
Our next giveaway, as you guys can see, is 19 minutes and 54 seconds. And uh, awesome, so let's keep going, let's keep going. So again, guys, right now for EB70S, we have a discount code. $100 off live EB70S. And if you purchase EB70S and PV200, we have also $100 off. So you can just get that bundle or EB70S alone. Um, so yeah, and this discount code is only valid during the live stream. Okay. Um, okay, so what else is there uh, to say about EB70S? I think EB70S is really cool, uh, mainly because of its battery capacity, 716 watt hours. This is a very high battery capacity. But let's move on AC60, and AC60 is right here. AC60, our newest, our newest portable power station, right? Okay, so I'll just put 70 ass here, and there we go, guys. So here's the A60 itself. This one here is B80, it's add on battery, okay? So A60 is kind of in the middle uh, between portable power stations, right? And the AC, is the AC collection actually. So like um, better a power station with a, with a large capacity. So first of all, oh, I didn't say some important things about EB70S. I assume you guys all know, but one more time, EB70S has 2,500 cycles. So it's right at 2,500 cycles. So again, let's do the math that we do every single time. Let's divide 2,500 by 365 and we get uh, 6.85. So we can use it for, for almost 70 years if we charge it and discharge it every single day. And realistically, because we're not going to charge and discharge every single day, we will use it for around 10 years. So this is the runtime of this model, 10 years. Okay, how about AC60? AC60 uh, is rated at 3,000 cycles, 3,000 cycles. So again, let's do the same trick, 3,000 divided by 365, and we've got 8.22. So again, it's almost nine years, it's almost nine years of runtime, and realistically, again, because we won't be using it every single day, it's actually more 10 to 12 years of runtime for AC60. <clears throat> The battery capacity here is 403 watt hours. So right, so it's not as high as here. Uh, it's almost twice. Uh, you know, this one is almost twice larger. However, remember that A60 has add-on batteries. You can connect B80 batteries, right? And each B80 battery is 806 watt hours. So, problem solved. Okay, now the AC load is 600 watts. So it's not exactly the highest AC invert, uh, the, 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 what is the word? It's not exactly the highest load, right? It's not exactly the most powerful AC inverter, but the good thing is that we have the power lifting mode, which you can run, you can load devices up to 1200 watts. So 600 watts, up to 1200 watts of surge power and under power lifting mode. It is expandable, again, with B80, okay? And uh, because one B80 is 806 watt hours, and you can connect it to two B80 batteries, you can expand it up to 2,015 watt hours. And on top of it, we also give you guys an industry-leading six-year warranty. Six-year warranty. So, here's the sizes, it's 11.4 inches by 8.1 inches and by 9.7 inches. Yesterday I said it's 23 inches, which is ridiculous, but I grew up using metric systems, so I just say numbers, I have no idea how, how long it is, like 10 inches, you know? <laughs> so, 11.4 uh, by 8.1 by 9.7 and the weight is 20 pounds. Now, the new feature about AC60 is that it's water resistant, right? It's incorrect to say waterproof, so we'll say water resistant. Water resistant, it has IP65, so it's dust resistant and water resistant. 
it cannot be submerged underwater, just in case you were wondering, but it can handle rain. So if you left it in the rain, um, you know, I, I suppose before it started raining, don't worry, it will handle the rain, but make sure that all the outputs and inputs are, you know, closed like, like this, right? With those, with those things right here, don't uh, remove them, please. They will help you. Uh, they will help AC60 to withstand water. Okay, so this is a new feature. This is our first water resistant power station. Okay, next, in the box, what do we have in the box? In the box we have this standard kit, um, the solar charging cables, again, 7909 to AMC4 connectors. The input is not in front, it's actually on this side right here, and we have uh, AC and DC input separately, so we can charge from, let's say, solar panels and a wall outlet at the same time. So, you guys probably have already guessed, the bigger one is an AC input right here, and this is the DC input, right? Uh, DC input, and we can use this solar turning cable, right, to charge from solar panels, just like that. Uh, what does it say? It says 12 to 28 volts and uh, eight amps, eight amps right here. Now we can also use the same input to charge from a, our vehicle, right? Charge from our vehicle, there we go. All right, and this is the AC input. And for AC input, we don't need uh, we don't need a brick. We don't need an adapter. All we need is this charging cable that is also included in the box. Okay, this uh, charging cable. There we go. Okay. And again, guys, just to prove the point, we can charge from AC and DC at the same time. Here I'm charging from a vehicle and from a wall outlet at the same time. And here I'm charging from solar panels and from a wall outlet at the same time. Well, oh yeah, MC4 connectors right here. Awesome. So th this is what we have in the box. Again, AC charging cable, PV charging cable, and a car charging cable, all we need. You can also connect some uh, optional accessory. Uh, connect some optional accessories like uh, if you want to recharge from lead acid batteries. It will not be the case for everybody, right? Because not all of you want to recharge from lead acid batteries. But if you want to recharge from lead acid batteries, sure. But you will need a, that uh, copper socket port, the clamp cable. Um, Oh no, for, for charging, we will need DC7909, of course, to clamp cable for lead acid batteries. Uh, but, and you can also get one more cardboard socket port to clamp batteries if you want to. And again, guys, uh, you also get the user manual, certificate of quality pass, and six year warranty. Now, one more time, the battery capacity is 403 watt hours, that would be 18 ampere hours, that would be 22.4 volts of battery. So the maximum AC load is 600 watts and the surge power is 1200 watts. This unit can also be adjusted to 50 or 60 hertz frequency. Now let's take a look at the outputs. What has changed? We actually removed some outputs. Uh, I'm not sure if you will see which ones? So on the top, we have this wireless charging pad, 15 watts, okay, as always. Now here we have 12 volt and 10 amp carburetor socket, uh, two USB-A ports, five volts and three amps, one USB-C port, 100 watts, and yes, we removed DC5521 barrel connectors, and we have two wall outlets right here. Again, 600 watts and 1200 watts of surge power, and it's a pure sine wave inverter. On the back side, we have this light, okay? This light right here, and it has three modes. So, first let's turn the power station on. Okay, so, uh, three brightness modes. Okay, there we go. The screen is much more advanced. Uh, it's very similar to the EV3A screen, right? So we can see the battery life, the estimate remaining time, eco mode on or off, input and output frequency. Also, 
when turn DC on, we'll have this symbol. It means that while this charging is on, because many people don't realize that, yeah, water charging is actually DC, so you want to turn DC on if you want your wireless charging to work. So right now my phone is charging. Again, it's, um, it's currently at 89%, my phone, I mean, okay. And we're getting three, four watts right now, but it will go up, it will go as high as 10 watts, which is actually quite good for a 15 watt, out, for, for a 15 watt wireless output. So again, we have a wireless charging pad, 15 watts, carpenter socket, 12 volt stamps, USB-C port, 100 watts, and two USB-A ports, five volts and three amps, that is 15 watts. Okay, speaking about the input, again, we have the AC input, it's 600 watts, 120 volts, and nine amps. And for DC input right here, the 7909 input, we have, uh, 200 watts, 1228 volts, and 8 amps. So, by the way, let's check the what is the load right now. It's 9 watts. Okay, again, very, very good. 9 watts from 15 watt wireless charging pan. Okay, so solar charting, right? Solar charting, um, if we're talking about portable solar panels, there are three models you can go for, and this will be true for all of our smaller power stations for both EB70S, EB55, EB3A, AC60, okay? Because you've probably already guessed why, because they all have the same voltage limitations, 28 volts maximum. So because it's 28 volts maximum, we can only uh, connect PV68, PV120, or PV200. And I recommend to go for PV200 because it would just be the fastest charging method uh, if you're talking about portable charging. Uh, portable charging? Well, portable waste, well, I mean, waste to recharge on the go, right? So it will take you 2.8 hours to recharge to 100% from PV200, and it will take you 2.3 hours to recharge to 80%. Let's see what's going on in the comments. I don't like the 551, but I got them on my EB3. Razor, if you don't mind me asking, what are you using um, 551 connectors for? It's really curious because many people don't find them to be useful. Okay, the search for handling of the inverter has been improved versus earlier units also. Okay, awesome. Good to know and good to have your confirmation, Jeff. More on that in a later video. Awesome. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. So, again, solar charting. Uh, you will be able to recharge your AC60 to 100% in just 2.8 hours from PV to 100. And you can recharge it to 80% in just 2.3 hours. Okay. Next. Car charting. So we already have this car charting cable in the box. You don't have to buy anything. You don't have to worry about anything. Just plug it in when your engine is running. Don't plug it in when your engine is not running. And it will take you 5.6 hours to completely recharge to 100% from a 12 volt and 10 amp carburetor socket. It will take you 4.1 hours to recharge to 80%. Now, about 24 volt and an amp carburetor socket will take you 3.1 hours to recharge to 100% and 2.1 hours to recharge to 80%. Now, speaking about, okay, uh, my fan for, for one, I cut several cords, it just can be lights. Okay, yeah, all right, interesting. That's how you use the 5 to one connectors. Okay, speaking about AC charging, just with this charging cable, without a, an adapter, we don't need an adapter, we can recharge uh, our A60 very quickly, okay? Hey, let's switch the camera angle. Okay, so A60, uh, we have three AC charging modes. It's silent, standard, and turbo, just like for EB3A. All of those modes can be adjusted in an app 
and only in an app, as a matter of fact. So uh, for silent charging with the input around 100 watts, it will take us 4.6 hours to recharge to 100%. With standard charging, it will only take us two hours to recharge to 100%. And finally, with turbo charging, it will take us only one hour and 12 minutes to recharge to 100% and 36 minutes to recharge to 80%. You can recharge from both a wall outlet and a generator, okay? All right, now let's take a look at the app, guys. What is new? What is new in the app? Let me show you guys. All right, so again, the app is called Blue Eddy. This is the app. So if, when you connect for the first time, press this plus sign right here and add manually. And you will, you will see the power station that are next to you. So here I have EB3A and A60. So I'll click A60 device bound, of course, because I connected it already. A60 right here, connecting. So what I can do is I can change the name of A60. This is a serial number, it follows A60. I can just delete it or replace it with an emoji or do whatever I want. I want uh, with it so you can change the name next we can share this device so again people who are given this QR code will get full access to your uh, full access to your bloody device are you sure you want to continue I mean, you're probably sure because possibly these people are your family so you I suppose trust them right <laughs> so they scan this QR code and this code will expire in 10 minutes and to connect to the device. And you can see the members here, the members of the crew who are controlling or um, piloting this device with you. Okay, charging mode, right? Standard charging. Again, under standard charging mode, you will charge it to 100% in just two hours and to 80% in one hour and 12 minutes. So if you're okay with standard charging mode, the input will be around 200 86 watts okay go ahead and enable standard charging mode but actually it is enabled by default so if you don't want to change it just um, leave it the way it is now if you want to go for silent charging mode just slide here and the next mode is silent and press ok and now you are in silent charging mode so what does that mean silent charging mode the input will be reduced um, as much as possible down to 100 watts only and will take you four hours and 36 minutes to recharge to 100% which is still quite fast and it will take you three hours and 18 minutes to recharge to 80%. It is called silent because under this mode the necessity for the unit to cool down eliminates and the fans would not spin so it's silent that's why it's called silent perfect mode very battery friendly Use this mode when you're not in a hurry, okay? And also guys, just a quick note, notice how we have this new icon, this new Bluetooth icon right here. We didn't have it before. Now we have it, and this is when it's connected to the app. Okay, next AC charging mode is called Turbo. And you already know this mode from EB3A. Turbo is the opposite of silent. So Turbo is fast charging and is not battery friendly. However, it's okay to use it every once in a while. So under turbo charging mode, you will have the input up to 600 watts. This is a very, very high input. And it will, it will only take you one hour and 12 minutes to recharge it to 100% and only 36 minutes to recharge it to 80%. Can you imagine that, guys? 36 minutes from zero to 80%. That is quite fast, isn't it? So go ahead and enable this mode when you need a quick recharge right here. So more about DC Eco Shutdown, AC Eco Shutdown, and the new features about Eco Mode and the time that you can now choose yourself and you could, you, you could choose the time before, but now you can also choose the load yourself. More about that after our second giveaway, which will take place on YouTube first and then on Facebook. And the second giveaway is going to be, again, our merch. You can see it uh, right here, okay? We gave away the cap already to two beautiful subscribers, I, I uh, imagine, of ours, okay? There was William Randall and Lauren DeParks, and now we give away
the t-shirt. So if you are up for challenge to compete with uh, 20 other people right now on YouTube, okay, um, then type Blue Addy or giveaway or Blue Addy giveaway. Time for a win, as Ferry says. Okay, let's go, let's go. So let me open, let me open YouTube on my phone so I can take a screenshot right here. Time for a win, everybody. Let's go. 10 second countdown t-shirt. Okay, so in 10 seconds again, I will take a screenshot just like that. This is a test and whoever's comment will be on the button wins. Are we ready? Let's go. 10. Type blue at your giveaway. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Let's go. Okay, so the winner is who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Can see, can see. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Multiple giveaways, winner alert. Uh, rambling Bob reviews, rambling Bob reviews, rambling Bob reviews. Congratulations. T shirt, t shirt. One more t shirt. I imagine uh, Bob opens his wardrobe and like, Blue Addy t-shirt, Blue Addy t-shirt, Blue Addy t-shirt. Yeah, okay, congratulations on your giveaway, Bob. Uh, awesome. Um, all right, so, oh, Facebook now. It's like there's something I forgot to do. Facebook, Facebook, Facebook right here. And I am on Facebook right now, and we have 11 people. So are we ready, guys? Facebook community, are you guys ready? 11 people, let's go. 10 seconds, in 10 seconds, I will take a screenshot and whoever's comment will is on the top. Uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean on the bottom wins. Let's go guys, 10 second countdown. 10, nine, eight, seven, woo, 15 people, six, five, four, Three, two, one, let's go. And the winner is Perry Albert. Congratulations. Now Perry and Bob, you probably will look like twin brothers right now. From now on with that t-shirt <laughs> top comment bottom comment yeah i win me 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 well chris uh that was a slip of a tongue and i did correct myself on the spot i said the bottom comment of course and it's facebook this time <laughs> okay 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 congratulations uh Terry albert okay all right <laughs> okay interesting um so yeah, actually when I was describing the, the wardrobe, um, that probably looks like my wardrobe. <laughs> but now I only have one t-shirt, by the way. I don't know. Mm, I wear it every day. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay guys, just, just for you guys to know, I have no idea what I sound like, both in terms of the sound, <laughs> because I mean, I can hear myself here in the microphone, so we have the crew here who are constantly monitoring the sound and let alone my accent. <laughs> Is the sound okay? Yeah. Okay, it sounds okay. They need someone to monitor the audio levels and just the mic volume to keep him in the proper level. Um, yeah, I will, I will translate this message right now and set it to, uh, to our cameraman right here. He's also a microphone man. <laughs> okay, thank you guys, thank you. Yeah, I have no idea what I sound like. I know we had, uh, we had some problems with the sound so yeah okay all right awesome let's keep going then going and yeah where do we start we stopped on the app control for ac60 for ac60 so ac60 right uh, it has a more advanced it has a more advanced um 
eco shutdown control. Right now, not only can you set the time, as you can do on 44EB3, for example, you can set um, just right here, you can see one, two, three, or four hours, right? So you can set to one, two, three, or four hours, but also you can set the uh, eco shutdown load, okay? So here for DC, we can set it from five watts to 10 watts. So the DC inverter, which will shut down in two hours, if we set it to two hours in one hour, if set it to one hour, if the load is lower or equals, let's say six, right? Because we set it to six, six watts. There we go. So we can set it to 10 watts, we can set it to five watts, we can set it to seven watts, anything in between or 10 watts, right? Okay, now next we have AC Eco, and it's the same, we can, first of all, we can enable it, we can turn it on, or we can turn it off if we don't, if we don't need it. And uh, the, the time from one to four hours, and then the wattage right here. So from 10 to 30 watts, it can be as low as 10 and as high as 30 watts. So we can set it right here. And Next we have LED lights. We can control the LED light with app two. The LED light is here on the back side. So I'll show you the LED light, how we can control it with an app. So we can first of all turn it on. Right, so right now I turn it on. Then SOS all through the app and off. Power lifting mode. On or off. So under power lifting mode, we can we can uh, load it up to 1,200 watts. Up to 1,200 watts. Next, we have firmware upgrade. So we can constantly check our uh, if we have any upgrades. Check for upgrade, and we are up to date. And uh, advanced settings. It's also a new feature in the app. We didn't have it before. It's advanced setting. So um, number one, we have grid enhancement mode. So this works uh, good in places where the grid is not very stable, okay? And it's a new feature, uh, advanced settings. Grid, grid boost mode or grid enhancement mode effectively deals with low quality grid conditions such as poor infrastructure and low voltage. This mode allows you to charge the unit no matter what the grid conditions are. Next, we can change the frequency from 50 hertz to 60 hertz and vice versa. So we'll keep it 60 hertz, of course. And we can go and restore, uh, go back to factory settings for the USA or Japan. So we can go ahead and uh, go back to factory settings. Let's see. And right now, by default, we have DC echo shutdown for four hours and five watts and AC echo shutdown for four hours and 10 watts. So it's just, it's it's like its, low, its lowest limit because here is from, five to 10 watts, and it's by default, it's five watts. And here is from 10 to 30 watts, and by default is again, 10 watts, okay? So again, this is the app control for uh, AC60. Now, remember how A60 can be extend, uh, extended with an add-on battery B80. So in this case, we'll also see the battery pack right here, okay? Advanced settings, oh, not here, uh, hold on a sec. Yeah, battery pack right here. So we will see a state of charge not only of the main battery of the unit, but also the add-on batteries, pack one and pack two. Okay, this is the app for um, AC60, right? Okay. All right, guys, awesome. All right, so... Um, Oh, is the sound okay? Let me check it real quick. Settings. All right. Okay, so uh, A60, now let's connect it to the B80 add-on battery. So, first of all, guys, B80, as you know, is more than a battery. The reason why is because, well, it has its own outputs here and its own input too, by the way. So, um, 
In terms of outputs, we have the 12 volt and 10 amp cigarette lighter port right here. We have USB-C port, 100 watts, and USB-A port, 18 watts quick charge. And we have its own input. And this input is, well, 7909, not only for car charting, okay, also for solar charting, for solar charting, and for also AC charting with an adapter, with an adapter. Okay, now, here's how we turn the unit on, and we click this button, turn DC on, and now we can use this, this, and this output. Again, it's 100 watts, quick charge, 12 volt, 10 amp, and um, this one is 18 watt, also quick charge. We don't have a wireless charging pad on the top, as you guys can see, because, well, uh, when you connect it to AC60, in theory, you would put it, um, you would put AC60 on the top, so you would cover the wireless charging pad. Anyway, so turning it on and off, and now let's connect it. Let's connect it. So again, I, I'll put B80 battery here first, this one on the top. And I'll use this cable. This cable is included in the box of uh, B80 battery. So this is the cable to connect them. Plug it in. Okay. And turn it on. There we go. And uh, if you guys noticed, I just clicked this button, but B8 it turned on by itself, okay? And here we can see the battery life right now. It's the, like the average of two batteries. We can also see it in the app. If we click battery pack right here, it's still loading, by the way. It needs some time. We need, it needs some, we need some time for it to adjust. <clears throat> okay. Oh no, it's because we have to connect to it one more time because we turn it off, remember? So now clicking on it to connect and battery pack and all right, so here's what it looks like in the app. Not, not what I expected. So we have uh, the battery, it's at 88% right now. System status, standby. Battery pack two, so we have two batteries connected. Pack one. We have the model, so it's A60 itself right here, and serial number, state of charge, battery status, in parallel, uh, fold or alarm, uh, protection status, and battery management system, and pack two. All the same information, model B80, serial number, state of charge, battery status, in parallel, in parallel, uh, fold or alarm, no alarms, and protection status and battery management system. Okay, so what, this is what it looks like. And we can connect one more B80 battery here. Now, in the app, we can turn DC and AC inverters on or off. We have to be within the Bluetooth range. We don't have to be that close to the power station. And we can turn off the whole unit here. But note, if you power off the device, you cannot turn it on, turn on the device, via the app. So as long as you're okay with that, you can power it off from the app. Otherwise, um, you might want to not power it off from the app because, because well, you cannot turn it on from the app. Um, okay, and again, settings here. All the things we talked about already, and we can always unbind the device right here. So in the app, you will also see the list of your power stations that you connect to. Here I have all sorts of related power stations, A100 Max, A400 Pro, EB3A, AC300, AC500, AC180, okay? Uh, you can also see, you can create your personal account right here if you want to. You can change the font size. If some of you find it to be too small, you can go ahead and enable large or huge font so now you can see it better, right? Um, or alternatively, you can go ahead and enable small, and now it's like this. Or go back to default. Oops, this is language. Default. Default, I think it's uh, the best for everybody. 
Next, we have language. So we have English, Chinese, Japanese, and German. So we can even change the language right here. Okay. Now let's change back to English. Okay. So here we can also check uh, clear cache, uh, privacy policy. You can check your privacy policy and um, about Blatty. We can learn about Blatty. We can um, check the Blatty user agreement, agreement, and we can even contact Blatty from here. Our address management, I have not added my address. You can add your email if you want to, and uh, phone number for security if you want to. If you don't want to, it's fine, you don't have to. Next, we have customer service here, ongoing problems and finished problems here. Of course, our customer service is also available by email, but you can also reach it from here. So this is what the app looks like. Uh, and here we have user manuals. So I have user manuals for EP600, EP500, EP3, AC60. So you can even read the user manual for USA, Australia, or European Union here in the app. You can access the user manual in the app in PDF version. So I actually prefer uh, user manuals that are you know, uh, in PDF version because you can search by keywords, right? Like comment F and you can search the keyword unlike in the paper version where you have to manually search. But that's fine. So this is what the, this is what the app looks like. And uh, we surely have. And look, even in the uh, user manual option, just, just a quick note, we have, uh, still we have a language choice. We have English, Chinese, uh, German, and Japanese right here. So, you know, let's, let's check German. So we have the user manual for AC60 right here in English and in German, I suppose. Yeah, this is English first. And then now it's German. Okay. So we have a couple of languages and yeah, thank you for your comments. Uh, we, uh, the app improved. Uh, yeah, it changed and yeah, we're working on it. Listening to the feedback too. <laughs> Hopefully we can improve the sound too with the microphone. I don't know. Um, I don't know because they keep saying the microphone is okay, but apparently, ah, huh? it's okay. But apparently it's not ideal. Okay, all right guys, great. So let's keep going, let's keep going. So here's how you connect your A60 and B80, just like that. Uh, really, really easy and user friendly. Everybody can do that. So speaking about like the screen, the screen also got a little bit more advanced and we have more icons on the screen. So we have this Bluetooth icon, we have short circuit for short, short for short circuit. Uh, we have a DC input icon. Also, I sometimes forget to say that AC60, just like EP3A, also is a UPS unit. So UPS stands for uninterruptible power supply. And basically, again, a classic example, you're working on your computer and it's plugged in the wall outlet during a blackout, your computer shuts down. When your computer is plugged uh, to a A60 or another, like EB3A, for example, you know, UPS unit, then it will not shut down because we'll switch to the internal batteries in a matter of milliseconds, particularly, uh, uh, specifically uh, 0 0.02 seconds. So um, very, very fast. And I tested multiple times here and it does work with a personal computer, which is really great. So it is also a UPS unit. It is an offline UPS, which means that um, it will be enabled as long as this unit is connected to the grid power. So when it's connected to grid, you will see, actually let's try connecting it right now, okay? I will plug it in in our EB, uh, sorry, EP500 right now. It will act as a wall outlet. So I'll use this car charting cable. Oh no, I mean sorry, wall uh, charting cable. Here is the input. Okay, plug it in. Turn AC on, and let's see if it starts charting or not. You can see it better than me. Yes, it did start charting. Ooh, it's under turbo charging mode. Let's set it to a silent charging mode. 
we don't need to rush things, right? So let's go to Blady AC16. One more time doing it from the app right now and settings and AC charging. It's under standard charging mode right now, 521 watts. Let's set it to silent charging mode. Silent. Oh my God, it's still so fast. It's actually 162 watts. Why I expected the low, uh, a lower uh, wattage, I don't know. Let me c correct my keynote real quick because it's 161, 62, 63, 64. So we can leave it 162 under silent charging mode. Okay, you see, even under silent charging mode, it will take you only three hours to recharge it to 100%, and it will take you, it will take you uh, two hours to recharge to 80%. Now let's set it to standard charging mode. Charging mode, standard. Okay. Okay, now all of a sudden it's 500, 23 watts, 24, 25. So the average would be one, five, tw five, two, three, right? Five to three, that is so fast. Five to three. So it's only take us one hour and 18 minutes to charge it to 100% and only 42 minutes to recharge to 80%. Now let's go ahead and set it to the turbo charging mode right here, standard turbo. Turbo charging mode, 604, 634, oh my God. So 603, this is the wattage that we're getting under turbo charging mode. And we'll recharge it again just in one hour and 12 minutes to 100% and um, in just 36 minutes to 80%. Jesus Christ, guys, I apologize for the numbers that they were wrong. They were actually um, much lower than they, 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 they actually are, right? Look, it only takes us three hours to recharge it from zero to 100% under silent charting mode and two hours to 80%. It will take us one hour and 18 minutes to recharge it to 100% under standard charting mode and 42 minutes to recharge it to 80% under standard charging mode. Under turbo charging mode, it will take us one hour and uh, 12 minutes to recharge to 80%, uh, sorry, sorry, to 100%, and only 36 minutes to recharge to, to recharge to 80%. That is very fast. So right now we are under turbo charging mode. I want to go ahead and put it back to the silent charging mode. Okay, silent. One, six, three. One, six, three. Still very fast. Very, very fast. Okay. All right. Yeah, amazing. I am, I'm quite amazed too. <laughs> okay, so uh, what are we talking about? I completely forgot. <laughs> so um, anyway, three modes, three different modes for AC charging, right? Um, B80, B80 is more than, than a battery. It has its own. Oh yeah, we were talking about we were talking about the um, UPS. So guys, let's take a look here at the screen, and it says grid. Grid means UPS. So right now it's in the UPS mode, uninterruptible power supply. Also, take a look how we have AC and DC icons here. This icon is a fan, right? The fan is on next to a wireless charger and next to Bluetooth, meaning it's connected to an app. And what else is new? Oh, here's the, it's not new, but uh, we have input icon right here. And this one, what is this icon? I don't even know what this icon stands for. It's like a battery icon. Let me check. It's, it means expansion battery connected. Oh, interesting. That means expansion battery connected. And if we connected two batteries, we would have one more battery next to it. So, wow, that's quite interesting. So 90%, it will, it will recharge to 100% in 0. Points, is it one or seven? I think it's seven. 
0 0.7 hours. So it's like, what, 42 minutes. So, okay. Well, I don't think this is a realistic number because, oh, maybe yes, because, uh, I mean, this is for the whole unit, 90%, so 10, 10 more percent. So for the whole unit for, and this battery, the B80 battery is 806 watt hours, remember? 806 watt hours. <laughs> okay, Martin. Yeah, thank you for your feedback. This is legit, not gonna lie. Yeah, uh, I didn't know it was so fast either. I actually thought it would be slower, um, but good thing we, we checked one more time. And 162 watts under silent charging mode. And uh, what was that? What was that? What was the speed? 602 watts under turbo charging mode. 603 watts under turbo charging mode and 523 watts under standard charging mode. Okay, more about B80 battery. So uh, B80 battery, with one battery, now we, are, we have the capacity of 1,209 watt hours. If we connect one more battery, now we are at 2,015 watt hours. This battery is 806 watt hours. Again, of course, it's lithium iron phosphate and has 3,000 cycles. And we have a warranty for six years for this battery for now. Now, the dimensions, it's 11.4 inches by 8.2 inches and by eight inches, the weight is 21.8 pounds. So it's, it's, it's as heavy, it's even slightly heavier than um, a 60 because of the battery, right? 806 watt hours. The, in ampere hours, there would be 36 ampere hours and the voltage of the battery is 22.4 volts. So uh, here's how we connect those units, guys, just in case you're wondering, we're using this cable. And on A60, we have two expansion ports, one here occupied and one here. Uh, we can connect one more battery. This is what the port looks like. And it's uh, the, the port of A60 is right here and it is 22.4 volts and 30 amps max. Now in the box of uh, B80, we have, this, we have this cable, we have this cable. This is a water and sun resistant cable. It can handle temperatures from minus 40 Fahrenheit to, uh, to, to 121 Fahrenheit. Again, in the box, you will find the user manual, uh, the warranty card for six years, and quarter certificate. And you can also buy additional accessories, such as an adapter that will allow you to charge it uh, via a wall outlet or via a generator. Okay, let me have some water, guys. Now, the input uh, limit here is, again, 200 watts maximum from 12 to 28 volts and eight amps. So if you're charging with a T200 adapter, just the same adapter that we had for, um, for EB70S, remember? This adapter, uh, let's check if this adapter is compatible. So it's 25.2 volts and it's 12 to 28 volts here and eight amps, so perfectly compatible. We can charge it from here. We can charge it from this, uh, with, with this adapter and it will take us, an, uh, under a load of 200 watts, it will take us four hours and 36 minutes to recharge it to 100% and three hours and 18 minutes to recharge it to 80%. Now we can also charge it from a car, from our car, okay, with this cable. Real quick, with this cable. There we go. So uh, 12 volt and 10 amp car per socket we will charge it in 10 hours and 10.7 hours and um, to 100% and 8.1 hours to 80%. And from a 24 volt and 10 amp copper socket, it will take you 5.6 hours to recharge to 100% and 4.1 hours to recharge it to 80%. Solar charging, again, if you go for uh, Blue Eddy, you can choose between three models. I would recommend the last one, PV68, PV120, or PV200. 
200. So I'll recommend for you 200 because it has the because we will get a high, the highest input with it. So to the 68, just imagine it will take you 13.7 hours to recharge it, right? So with 220, the numbers are better, eight hours, but still unrealistic, too long. And with PV200, it will take you five hours to recharge it, five hours to 100% and uh, 3.6 hours to 80%, okay? And also guys, remember that the fact that B80 has its own outputs is not only great because we have additional outputs. Well, we, you know, we have, for, for example, we have this 18 watt USB A port, quick charge. We don't even have it here. Here we have 15 watt max, right? Five volts and three amps. We have one more USB C port, 100 watts and 12 volt 10 amp car power socket right here. So not only do we have three high quality, high efficiency, additional DC outputs, right? But also that means that the B80 battery can be used on its own. Maybe sometimes you don't even need the AC power, those wall that's right here. So you just take this battery with you and you charge your devices from it. And isn't that great? So for example, if you just take this battery with you without this one, right? <clears throat> you would be able to recharge your phone 45.6 times, your MacBook 11 times, your mini drone 29 times, your camera 31 times, and you can run a 90 watt fridge from this cigarette lighter port for seven hours. Now with Asus 60 and B80, this, this unit right here, this bundle, right? You can charge your phone 68.4 times. You can charge your MacBook Air 16.4 times. You can charge your mini drone for 43 and a half times. You can charge your camera for 46.4 times and your fridge for 10 and a half times. And if you add one more B80 battery, you now have the battery capacity of 2005, uh, sorry, 2015 watt hours. So you can charge your iPhone 12, one, oops, my light is on, <laughs> 114 times. You can charge your MacBook Air 27.3 times, Mini Drone 72.4 times, Camera 77.3 times, Fridge 17.4 hours. Guys, about the price, first of all, for A60 and B80 and its bundles, we have $20 off coupon. If you enter the code blue at T live and you do it within this live stream before 7 p.m. PDT, before 9 p.m. PDT, excuse me, you are saving $20. So for A60, this unit right here, okay, 403 watt hours and 600 watts, app control, UPS mode, water resistant. The price is $579. Again, with the code Blue ID Life. Additional $20 off, in addition, I mean, to the already early bird price. Now, for B80, the price is the same, it's $579. For AC60 and B80, the price together is $1,178. $1,178, okay? Uh, with, uh, this, this is the price with the code or without the code? With the code. With the code. Yeah. Uh, no, I think, I think it's without the code, right? Because because it doesn't make sense because it would be cheaper to buy separately. A60579, right? B80579, and together there would be... Okay, okay, take 1,178 divided by two. Divided by two, you get 589, right? So it's like, it's more expensive than buying separately you would save money if you buy it separately. So yeah, let's let us check this one guys. Sorry, but an um, AC60 and PV120, uh, 120 watt max portable solar panel is just, that just magically happened to have here right next to me. The price is $863. 
and a 60 plus pv200 it's 978 hours and pv200 is the battery that i recommend you guys absolutely go for so it's an absolutely yes uh, it's an absolutely yes uh, no excuses no excuses not to buy this uh, panel because it's just great it's compatible with all of our small power stations since the uh, voltage of this panel is 26.1 volts okay 26.1 volts and uh, the voltage limitations for our small power station is what is from 20 is from 12 to 28 volts so 26.1 volts perfectly within this range awesome okay now guys to, uh, right now we are uh, it's, it's may 25th right in the states uh here is may 26th so we are in the early pre-sale of ac60 and b80 and what that means for you and me uh for us it means that right now is the early bird price okay so if you go uh click that link and um you will see that the price will go up so right now is the early bird price you know what to do <laughs> plus if you enter blade life you will get additional 20 dollars off in addition to the already early bird price guys i'm sorry i couldn't see the countdown right there and i wasn't looking is it a giveaway time because everybody's typing bloody yeah. okay good i didn't see the countdown all right <laughs> all right let's go so let's do let's do the giveaway and the third giveaway is phone tripod let's go guys phone tripod there we go so again for new guys here in 10 seconds this will happen and whoever's comment is in the very bottom is a victor so let's go guys 10 seconds 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 let's go the winner is oh this is a tricky situation but we have this rule that we only count the full name so we can't count it because it would be too hard to you know to really say the rules strictly like can we see the name i kind of can see the name or i cannot see the name well you cannot but i can so we only count the full name and it's karen kelly congratulations karen kelly our winner from youtube now we're moving on facebook on facebook and let's see who is here with us on Facebook. Okay, there we go. Oh, sorry. I was like, what is going on? Oh, that's YouTube. <laughs> All right. Uh, hold on a second. Excuse me. All right, there we go. Oh my God, we have cr quite a crowd here. Uh, 14 people currently typing bloody. So guys, let's go. You know what to do in 10 seconds. This will happen. And whoever's comment is in the very bottom Wednesday with a test. So let's go. If everybody is prepared, there is no reason to delay the giveaway. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Okay. And the winner is... Chris Brown, Chris Brown, congratulations, Chris Brown and Karen Kelly. Guys, please email us at livestream at blueaddy.com. Send us your shipping address and your phone number and you got phone tripod. So maybe next time you'll be watching our live stream with your phone on the beautiful tripod. <laughs> Congrats one more time. Good job, good job. All right, so let's go. Guys, just in case if you're on YouTube, if you happen to be on YouTube and you forgot to press that like button, please do because it helps us a lot to grow this channel. And we're currently at 14,000 subscribers. We are very, very happy to be where we are. Thank you guys so much. So please give us a like and please subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Okay, we're growing our community step by step. All right, so uh, let me see, let me see if we have any questions. Okay, 
will reach the junior. It's too late to tie a blue eddy. Next, next giveaway is in 19 minutes. So save your effort. In 19 minutes is going to be our last giveaway, which is which is uh, the time where when when, when we tie a blue eddy to, to participate in the giveaway, right? Okay, okay, okay. All right, guys, awesome. And again, the giveaway winners remember to contact us at. Uh, livestream at blueity.com. Livestream at blueity.com. Let's see where we at right now. Um, Ninety-two percent slow charging. Uh, what is it called? Silent charging mode. One six three. Okay. UPS mode. Everything as expected. <laughs> okay, it's Blake. It's me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, all right. Let me check the Facebook comments if we have any. We don't have any comments for the giveaway. After the giveaway, everybody is silent. <laughs> all right, guys, awesome. So, all right. What's the email for the giveaway? Uh, uh, we we sent it. We sent it to to the uh, chat on Facebook. Okay, Dragon Blake. <laughs> what? Okay. Mm, right. Okay, guys. So, um, that is it. A60 and B80 right now, early bird price. Um, to find, to actually, to, to, the proof for that would be click the link for um, A60, right? We only have one link to prove, one, one link, one common link, so it's on the very top in the description. And you see, we have uh, the following choices to buy. So there's a button buy now, so click the button. We have A60, you can buy A60, you can buy B80 separately. Definitely not the best idea to buy B80 separately, you want to get A60 first. B80, A60 and PV120, A60 and PV200, A60 and B80. And the price is 1198. 1198. Uh, and the price for A60 is 599. So with $20 off discount, that would be 579 by 2. 1158. 1198. Doesn't add up. Yeah, the price doesn't add up. I don't know why the bundle costs are more than the buying two products separately. Um, I don't know. Uh, we, we're waiting for the response from the from the bloody official. So A60 and B80 and PV120 is also a bundle and A60, B80 and B100. You can check more information on the website. So one more time guys, uh, first of all with the industry leading six year warranty, just to give you guys peace of mind. Uh, next, uh, ICE, uh, IP65 dust proof and water resistant, expendable from 403 watt hours to 1,209 watt hours to 2,015 watt hours with two B80 batteries. Turbo charging to 100% in one hour as we found out. And for us, right, it was even um, more impressive. So it's, yes, it's one hour and 16 minutes to 100%, and it's, it's only 36 minutes to 80%. Um, 3,000 cycles to 80%, so the runtime of this power station is 10 plus years, right? So if we take the price, and the price again is 579, right? 579 with the code Blue IT Live. Uh, remember to enter the code Blue IT Live right here, guys, to save $20 in addition to the early bird price. And 579 by 10, I can do it without calculator. So it's $57.9 a year over the course of 10 years. Again, it's all available because of um, lithium iron phosphate batteries and, and battery management system. Okay. Uh, right now, again, guys, it's uh, the end of May, so we're still in the early bird pre-sale. But, but in the beginning of the next month, we will have special pre-order. We'll move one more stage, and then at the middle of the next month, it's going to be a public sale. So you don't want to put it off for too long because the price will go up. 
So again, guys, you have full charge in one hour, super fast, smart app control, multiple outlets, water resistant, 3,000 cycles. You know uh, that for a small power station of ours, we have 2,500 cycles, which is still a very long uh, run time, right? But here it's even longer, 3,000 cycles. Dust proof and water resistant. It has a power lifting mode, 1,200 watts, and it's actually quite, it's actually very quiet. As you can hear, now it's uh, under silent mode, but uh, it's still normally very quiet under 45 decibel. Okay. Again, about the warranty, uh, the industry leading really means what it sounds like. Uh, other companies give five year warranty top, we give six year warranty. Lithium iron fossil batteries are also the same. Uh, I say it all the time, so you're probably bored to hear it all the time from me, but I'll say it one more time. <laughs> Lithium iron fossil batteries are safer, eco friendlier and they have a longer runtime. So you can run your power station for 10 years plus as opposed to a couple of years that lithium ion batteries give you. Dust proof and water resistant. You're in desert, you are uh, in a very dusty place, working next to your A60, you're in a very humid place or it's raining and you lived, uh, sorry, you left, uh, you left <laughs> A60 under open air, no worries. Definitely don't submerge in water on purpose, right? Uh, but again, it's good as water resistant. Flex it's flexible, uh, you have flexible capacity, that is you can just you know use uh, A60 uh, on its own and you can also connect B80 battery or two B80 batteries. Easy add-on batteries. Six year warranty, 10 plus years of lifespan, and 3,000 cycles. Okay, and power lifting mode. You can handle surge, surges of many devices, and also um, you can run many devices you wouldn't even think to run, such as coffee maker, for example, 1,000 watt coffee maker. Yes, you can run it at 1,000. 80 watt electric drills. Yes, you can do it. Uh, 950 watt sandwich grill. Yes, you can run it under power lifting mode. Okay. Multiple charging methods, guys. Uh, you can charge from lead acid batteries if you have 12 or 24 volt lead acid batteries at home. You can charge from lead acid batteries. You can charge from your vehicle. You can charge from solar panels, from AC charging. It's all possible. What's more, you can combine charging from wall outlet and charging from lead acid batteries or charging from wall outlet and from solar panels or charging from wall outlet and from your car because it's um, we have DC and AC input separate so you can occupy both of those inputs at the same time and we have an app control as you guys saw yourself very easy to control it from your app and you can control it with your whole family with your whole family we have everything you need in the box. We have the AC charging cable, car charging cable, solar charging cable in the box. So there's really nothing else you need. Uh, if you want to buy some additional cables, you can buy them from us or from the third, th third parties. Totally fine. Um, okay, and it's relatively lightweight. It's only 20 pounds heavy. Uh, it's uh, also small size. Okay, so it's portable, okay. So here are some common questions actually from the website. Maybe some of you guys have them. So uh, what does the IP65 rating mean? So here's the answer. The, I, the IP of um, measures how resistant a device is to solids and water. The first digit of the rating indicates the level of protection of the enclosed device against the intrusion of foreign objects such as dust, tools, or fingers. <laughs> the second digit re represents the protection level against Moisture and instruction, intrusion, sorry. And the IP65 rating means that the AC60 is protected from total dust, ingress, and low pressure water jets from any direction. Okay. Uh, also, apparently, a common question is what solar panel should I choose? And the answer is very easy, very simple, excuse me, is the, um, is the, solar panel with a compatible voltage from 12 to 
28 volts. So I recommend you guys go for PV200 if you want to buy a Blue Yeti. 26.1 volts within 28 volts and um, 200 watts of input maximum. Oh, also we have this very interesting question. Why is the charging power often too low? And the answer is AC60 has a built-in intelligent battery management system that automatically adjusts the charging power in response to the battery temperature and state of charge, thus protecting the battery and extending its service life. Well, we definitely did not have this problem. Now it's in a silent charging mode and it's 162 watts of uh, input. It's charging very fast, but again, if you find out it's slow, uh, it's slow on purpose. Yeah, six years, correct, correct. Didn't see your comments, yeah, six years. Okay. All right, so um, next question would be, can I charge and discharge at the same time? And I just love the answer from Bluetti. They definitely just say yes. They literally just say yes, one word, yes. Yes, it can charge and discharge at the same time. Yes. Okay, how do I know whether my device will work with this product? Actually, a very important question too, and I realize many people don't know. So all you wanna do is evaluate the total constant load of your devices and usually the manufacturer stands it. For example, uh, we have this sandwich maker and we will try to run it right now. But before we run it, I want to enable a power lifting mode because it says 600 watts. The manufacturer says 600 watts. But what if not? What if it's higher than that? So just to play it safe, I will just go to the app and enable the power lifting mode and try it right now, plug it in, power lifting mode is on, and I'll turn the sandwich maker on, and we are at 710 watts. There we go, that's what I said, right? So, but actually, let's, oh, no, oh, sorry, I was looking at the input, this is passed through, right? So it's 602 watts. Let's disconnect it from charting real quick. Okay, awesome. We are at 580 watts. So it can it can charge and discharge at the same time, um, as you guys saw. But right now we have like a more accurate data here: 582 watts of of um, output from this sandwich maker. And if I plug it in, we'll have like pass through, so we won't even see the accurate number. What is the power lifting mode? In this mode, the uh, Asus 60 can run high power hitting devices up to 1,200 watts, such as space heaters, hair dryers, electric irons, uh, irons, sorry, <laughs> etc. Do not use this unit to run an air conditioner or washing machine. Yeah, I don't think anybody would use it to run a washing machine, that's for sure. How long can it run my devices? The answer is that long. Well, uh, there is a formula that is, a simple formula would be just dividing the, load, uh, dividing the battery capacity, 403, by the load. Like, so it's 100 watts, we divide 403 by 100, and we got uh, four, four hours. However, a more precise formula would also include the inverter's efficiency, the depth of discharge, so you will find this formula in the user manual. Can I use or charge A660 in sub-zero temperature? Uh, you can use the A660 to power your devices in cold weather, but please avoid recharging it below freezing. Yeah, guys, this is also a very good point. Um, it all is because uh, lithium iron fast batteries. So when you're discharging it, when you're using it, you can use it up to in, uh, under temperatures down to minus four Fahrenheit, okay? very low temperature. Uh, however, when you charge it or store it, uh, you don't want the temperature to, dro to drop below freezing, below 32 Fahrenheit. So again, for discharging, minus four maximum, and for charging, 32. That is from minus 20 Celsius when discharging and zero Celsius when charging. Okay, next question. Is
is it possible to replace the built-in battery? This is funny because I get this question quite a lot from the new colleagues who come to our company and the answer is no. Just like for many electronics. Uh, how to store the A60 when not in use? This is a very good question. The A60 should be stored in a dry and well ventilated place and recharged to 80% every three to six months. So I don't think any of you will like not use it for three to six months, but if you don't use it for three to six months, yes, please recharge it. Recharge it to 80% or so every three to six months. Running this sandwich maker, the sandwich maker is, is hot right now and I'll just turn it off. This one is fine. Five, seven, eight, nine, and um, yeah, everything works. Power lifting mode, icon, biceps, turning it off. Good. All right, success. Okay. All right, all right. Okay, that was actually some interesting uh, frequently asked questions on the website. Uh, many people do have these questions, uh, indeed. I don't know how they collect them, but apparently they're very interesting. Okay, guys, again, one more time. If you buy, buy. Now we have 378 customers who have ordered already. 378 customers, okay? And the super early bird release ends in five days, four hours, and 10 minutes. Okay, so the super early bird pre-sale ends in five days. That's quite soon. How many batteries can you hook up to the A60? Two batteries maximum. So with one battery, there would be 1,200, uh, 1,209 watt hours total. And with two batteries, there would be 2,015 watt hours total. Okay. Um, AC60, $579, early bird price, pre-sale. B80, the same price, $579. AC60 and PV120, portable solar panel, $863. AC60 and PV200, portable solar panel, $978, okay? And you can also buy, um, Bundles like A60 and B80, A60, B80, and PV 120, A60, B80, and PV 200. Oh, and we have a giveaway in one minute and 44 seconds. Okay, okay, and so is it going to be a hoodie? And the giveaway is going to be the bloody hoodie. Who wants the hoodie? Who doesn't have the hoodie yet? Guys, please give us a like on YouTube. Thank you so much. Now we have 31 likes. Okay, awesome. So the giveaway is going to be on YouTube and on Facebook in one minute. So first on YouTube and then on Facebook in just one minute. How cool does that sound? All right, let's go, let's go. So, um, let me see what a, something I forgot to say. Oh yeah, all right. Remember guys that uh, A60 is our first unit that is actually grounded. We have a grounding right here, just an added safety feature. So just in case you're wondering or you wanted us to ground our devices, this, this, device, is, is gro this device is grounded. So yeah, we have a grounding right here. It's a new feature on AC60. New feature on AC60. Yeah, I like how the sports look. They look quite futuristic, to be honest, to me at least. And yes, you can connect two batteries maximum. And, you know, it's, it's a risk-free game because you can just get AC60, okay? And then if you want to get add-on batteries, just buy add-on batteries. And that is it. So you can start with AC60, then you can get one or two B80s later on if you want to. That is awesome. Oh, it's a giveaway time right now, guys. So start typing Blue Atty in the comments. Start typing Blue Atty in the comments. Um, let's go. So, okay, we have some new people here too. So guys, 
Keep typing Blady and in 10 seconds I will take a screenshot like this and whoever's comment is on the very bottom wins. That was a test. So let's go 10 seconds, 10 seconds, Blady, Blady, go ahead. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one let's go okay i wasn't looking i wasn't even looking oh oh <coughs> excuse me the winner uh this is uh, the winner not slim one congratulations not slim one that is six. Oh wow awesome that is fantastic Congratulations on your win, not slim one. Uh, don't forget to request a hoodie. Uh, don't forget to to go two sizes up because apparently it's reported that it's too small. So go at least two sizes up for a hoodie uh, and email us at livestream at blueeddy.com. Again, it's livestream at blueeddy.com. Congratulations, not slim one. Now let's go in, on Facebook. On Facebook, same rules, same rules right here. So. 10 second countdown and a screenshot in 10 seconds. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. As you guys can see, I'm not even looking. 2, 1, let's go. Okay, and the winner is. Oh, LaRonda Parks again. Congratulations. Congratulations, says LaRonda Parks. Again, email us at livestream at blueat.com. So then it's your shipping address and your phone number via email and also request a hoodie two sizes up than you normally wear because they report it to be too small. Okay, guys, so thank you so much, everybody, for being here with us uh, during this live stream. If you want to purchase AC60, AC60, B80, or any bundle, during the live stream, we have five more minutes before the end of the live stream. So uh, why is it important? Because during the last we have additional $20 off discount, additional $20 off discount, okay? And it will expire in five minutes. Now, also give us your like. Thank you so much. We have 37 likes right now, guys. Thank you so much. Make sure that you also subscribe to the channel, okay? Um, if you're watching us on Facebook, you might also go to YouTube and subscribe to our Blue Eddy YouTube channel. Thank you for being here, guys. Again, the discounts are still valid. If you want to get AB70S or an ACC60, discounts for both of them are valid. For this one, you're saving $100 if you purchase them during the live stream. And uh, for AC60 and B80 is the early bird price, pre-sale. So we have the super favorable price already. Uh, and with the special discount code, Blade Life, you get additional $20 off, okay? Congratulations, lucky winners. Congratulations to everybody who purchased during the live stream using those special discount codes because you saved big. And everybody is a winner, right? Is that, that's what we always say. Everybody is a winner. <laughs> okay, guys, welcome. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, and yeah, so we'll see you the next time. Uh, this Sunday at 7 p.m. PDT. Oh, yeah, 7 p.m. PDT, Sunday. All right, and uh, we will have giveaways too. We have giveaways every 25 minutes. And some people, they won, what, 13 giveaways? <laughs> Somebody won, but yeah, but uh, definitely the giveaways is not the only fun part, right? Right, right, no? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, yeah, discount codes, time limited discount codes. So purchase during live stream because we have time limited discount codes. That is the thing. And um, AC60, B80, new unit, right? New new release. And now it's early pre-sale. I'll see you guys next time, this Sunday at 7 p.m. PT. From 7, to, uh, we start 7 and we, we finish at 9. But we have giveaways every 25 minutes. So if you want to come for giveaways, uh, well, come on time, come on time and uh, type Blue Eddy. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you're typing Blue Eddy, make sure you're active in the comments. 
If you like the live stream, if you like the giveaways and everything, give us a like, okay? And uh, um, I'll see you next time very soon. Follow us on social media, on YouTube, on Facebook. We're also on Instagram. We're also on TikTok. And you can also subscribe to our email list if you want to get updates. Uh, and if you want to learn about them first. We also have a special program. You can go to our website, register an account. You don't have to put money there. You, we actually don't have this option to put money there. Just register an account. And you will get special bloody bucks for each purchase. So we have a lot of opportunities. And we have the best portable power stations in the world with lithium iron phosphate batteries. Really beautiful design, isn't it? And now water resistant and grounded <laughs> and expandable. You can easily add on those batteries from one or two batteries. Also, if you're watching us now from, from the United States, maybe from Canada or from Mexico, or from any other country, um, chances are we also sell to your country, so you can you can check it on our website. So we currently have United States, Canada, Europe, UK, Australia, Japan. We also have our um, special offers for France, for Spain, for Germany, Italy. Now also for Korea. Philippines, Nigeria, and South Africa. Those are some new countries we added on our list. Wow, we now have South Africa. I didn't know that. <laughs> Good. So, guys, as always, guys, uh, pleasure to be here with you. Take care. Have a good night. And I'll see you on Sunday at 7 p.m. PDT. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.